the FAA rules on Trevor Jacob and the end of masks in the U.S., or is it? This and more aviation news on Taking Off. Hey everyone, I'm Dan Milliken and we've been really busy and today is no exception. So I'm going to power this video out from the road in this hotel. The big news is information coming out on adventurer Trevor Jacob. And as you may recall, uh, he's the one who parachuted out of a Taylor craft in Southern California, but he was the solo occupant and claimed engine trouble. The trouble really began for Trevor when he posted a video about the adventure a month later, just uh, before Christmas. And since then, Trevor has gone radio silent. We had done a video and in our investigation, we came across the AMP who had last did an annual on the plane that crashed. And you can watch that right up here. He confirmed to us at that point that the FAA was in fact investigating the crash. And apparently the FAA sent a letter to Trevor on April 11th telling him he had violated the FAA FARS by the catch-all, the 9113, uh, careless or reckless manner to so endanger the life of property or uh, of another. And this news comes from the New York Times, who also reports that the FAA has immediately revoked his pilot certificate. Now, it's unclear whether that's a permanent revocation or if he has a path towards getting it back in the future. And the FAA moved lightning quick on this one. In Martha Lunkin's case, it was a full year before they made a move. This time it's about five months. Uh, in my opinion, the FAA moved quickly on this one to send a message to people that might consider doing unsafe stunts in airplanes uh, before a, a big tragedy happens. And in the New York Times article, when they reached out to Trevor, uh, he was surprised by the news. But also in a podcast video on his YouTube page, he says that he cannot talk about it on advice from counsel, but the truth will come out with time. Okay, so that's it for Trevor. We were traveling in Philly commercially when the news dropped about the mask mandate. A federal judge ruled that the CDC had exceeded its power with the mandate and effectively ended it right there and then. And I can tell you, as we went to PHL the next morning for our return back to Texas, there was a lot of confusion. As we walked to the ticket counter, there was this one passenger. She was very upset with people who were not masked. And she told one guy next to us to put his mask on. And when he pointed to the others, she yelled, they're not listening to me. But the American Airlines ticketing agent then told that guy to, to put his mask on and that the airport was still requiring it. Meanwhile, on the television, playing the news above her, the, uh, the headline read, TSA stops mask enforcement. Then two days later, on April 20th, the Department of Justice announced they are appealing the ruling. So now it becomes even more political. Now, will the Biden administration force the public? And, and by the way, I'd say that, that more than a majority of the people on my flight that day chose to lose the mask well so the majority of people obviously don't want this mandate and that could make the midterms already looking bad for the democrats go even further that direction so stay tuned and don't burn <laughs> that mask yet or go general aviation and not even deal with it okay Christy and I, with Dean Syracusa, the founder of Flying Eyes, are heading over to the United Kingdom next week to do a whole lot of flying and a whole lot of filming for the channel. If you're over in the UK, we'd love to meet you at one of our stops. What I'll do is I'll post a rough itinerary in the description below, so check it out, leave a comment, we'd love to see you. Okay, also, some of you might have heard uh, some weeks ago I crashed an auto gyro and I'm still walking through all the learning experiences with this one and when I'm ready I'm going to tell you guys all about it and what I've taken away that that can make me a better pilot and a better person that time's just not yet but you'll be the first to know 
Okay, that's it from a hotel room somewhere on the road. And I want to thank our sponsors, Flying Eyes. Use the taking off all caps one word for 10% off. And also Colton Mortgage. You may not need a mortgage, but someday you might. So go to coltontakingoff.com for your residential mortgage. Mortgage, And also Marshall Security Services. These guys are helping bring this content to you. So t- take care. And remember, superior judgment trumps superior skills. We'll see you next time.